Mr. Krofik, you don't know me, but does your middle name start with a day? Yeah, I graduated May 26th, 1966, and I wound up in Fort Benning, Georgia, May 30th, 1966. It wasn't too bad at first, and you know, the nighttime come, you see all these tracers and all that, I think, what did I get myself into? Bought it at the PX and took it to this Vietnamese guy, and he done it. He used a little stencil here, like hammered it in or whatever. I probably had about six, seven months. Remember, I got hit in the arm and leg and took me to the hospital. I remember telling the doctor, if I got to you know, cut something off, cut my leg off, not my arm. I didn't want to go home. I didn't want to leave the guys. But then after a while, I got to Japan. Then I, you know, then I got to Walter Reed. I wanted to go home. The bell rang and I opened up and looked at it and said, Mr. Krofik, you don't know me, but does your middle name start with a day? And I'm thinking, what's this? So I just didn't read it. A couple days later, I said, I'm going to see what that is. And that's what she said then. Her father-in-law collected Zippo lighters. He was in the Navy during Vietnam, and he died a year and a half ago. She liked my lighter the best for the saying on the back. So she asked me if I wanted it back. I said, yeah, and she sent it back to me. After 50 years. I broke, it broke down in tears. You know, after 50 years that somebody would do that for you. you know? well, I heard different stories about rings and that, purple hearts getting turned. Never dreamed of my life.